So what do you think? Uh, who do you think Aristotle is? Okay. Fuck. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> That's sad. Uh, Aristotle. He's a philosopher, right? <laughs> Aristotle is a uh, Greek philosopher, am I right? Um, was, he was either the teacher of Socrates or either or. Um, I think he uh, had something to do with little boys too. I don't know that was at Socrates. I forgot. But yeah, he was a philosopher um, for ethics. Um, yeah, that's Aristotle. Well, Aristotle, I'm not 100% sure exactly on uh, what period he's from, but I'm pretty sure he was Greek, he was a philosopher, and uh, I think laid a lot of the seeds for uh, things in modern culture for the Greeks, because the Greeks really sort of set forth a lot of things that we uh, consider to be the benchmarks for uh, Aristotle, uh, one of the greatest, or one of the, the, the great uh, Greek uh, um, philosophers. philosophers. Poet, um, idealist, you know, uh, at the time that the Greece was really making headway, um, this guy had something to say, and a lot of the world listened, and we're still listening. We're still dissecting their ideas and implementing them in some of our motivational things and some of our educational things. So, you know, I, I really think he was on to something a long time ago. What, why do you think we still? You know, translate his information from what he's taught, and why do we, we still talk about it today? What do you think is one of the main points that you know from what is, he's taught brings it over today so much? Um, well, I'm somewhat of a, a student of, of, of the Greek language, um, and what I find that the Greek language um, it's it's trans it's translatable into the English uh, to give you a. To give you a, a, an example, um, the word uh, transfiguration or the word uh, transform in the Greek is metamorpho, or we get the English word metamorphosis. So they're kind of close. Uh, most of our uh, surgeons and doctors in medical fields have to study Greek uh, just to uh, be able to implement the things that they implement in medicine. So I think. Um, you know, the Greeks, when they, when they were, you know, uh, prominent at their time, you know, they were on to some things, uh, mathematically, uh, building things. I, I think they had a great philosophy of life. Uh, so, who is Aristotle, or what is Aristotle, or what's important about, or what's a good life? No, 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 good life, yeah. Okay, good answer that, yeah. All right, so uh, basically Aristotle, I would say, is maybe, Maybe he's the single most important philosopher, philosopher ever. Are you on? Am, am I on now? Okay, good, great. So uh, Aristotle is the most important philosopher ever, and um, uh, has profound impact even from you know this three four hundred before Christ until today, uh, because he connects a philosophy of nature with a kind of philosophy of society and it seamlessly fits together. So the idea is the human being is embedded into a larger context in nature. So uh, that's important. So the, the key idea in him is a kind of a balance in life, not just within society but also between society and nature. 